हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई क्लास दिस इज रुमान अली आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल इन टूडेज क्लास मटेरियल एंड थिंग्स वेन वी लुक अराउंड वी कैन सी द डिफरेंट मटेरियल लाइक चेयर्स टेबल्स एंड बॉटल्स ग्लास विंडोज और वुड विंडोज ऑल दीज आर द डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स और डिफरेंट मटेरियल दैट आर मेड अप ऑफ डिफरेंट थिंग्स so different things that are present in our surrounding they are made up of different materials for example uh, we can find the material like ceramic and the earthen material is also used to make the different things and glass is also a material with which we can make different things and even plastic wood metal so here these are some of the different materials that can be used to make different substances ceramic earthen material and glass these three are the materials or these are some of the materials that can be easily breakable they can break but when we see the materials like plastic wood and metal these cannot break these materials do not break so in this way there are certain materials that can be breakable and there are certain materials that cannot be break here we'll take the example of the things that are present in our surrounding that we can see in our environment so here the ceramic is a material this is a material that can be used to make the different things like cup or the plates so ceramic is a material that can be used to make cup and with earthen material we can make pots and glass here we can take an example of test tube test tube is a chemical apparatus which you can see in the chemistry lab and this test tube is made up of glass and here the plastic here we can take an example of a ball or toys the different toys which can be available and which are made up of plastic and here we can also take an example of comb comb that we use is also made up of a plastic material and wood is a kind of material by which we can make the substances like table chair and all the other things and with metal also we can make the different things here we'll take an example of nail so these are the different materials that are required to make the different substances and with one material only one substance can be made no there are different substances that can be made by using one material so for example uh, by using earthen material not even pots we can also make the different thing like idols of god and ornamental objects and when we take an example of plastic also besides ball and comb there are many other things like bottles caps and many different things that can be made by using plastic buckets and all so these are uh, the things that can be made by using a material called plastic and when we take an example of wood not only table but chair desks and even furniture bed and all all these things can be made by using a material called wood so by these examples we can understand that each material can be used to make the different things that means one material can be used to make the different objects or the different things so this is how the different materials can be used to make the different things that can be used in our daily life or that can be used in our daily activities so in this way we can make different objects with each material here we'll take one more example to understand this point and the example is cycle when you see a cycle it is made up of different materials like plastic metal iron steel all these things are used to make one cycle in this way the different or the number of materials can be used to make one thing so this is how the different materials are used to make the different things now let us discuss about the properties of materials so every object has its specific use we do not use only one object for all the purposes we use 
the different objects for the different purposes and this purpose depends upon the properties of materials how the material is it depends upon the properties the purpose of the object depends upon its properties we can find the different properties in the different material if you want to make a window through which the persons uh, should not see in then the window should be made of either translucent or it should be made of wood so that no one can see through the window and if you make a chair or a ball with the material like mud or glass will it be usable can we use that ball or a chair that is made up of mud or glass no because they may break if you make a chair by using mud or glass and if you sit on that chair then it will immediately break in this way the materials that are appropriate to make that object that is only going to be used to make that particular object so in this way we cannot make a chair by using mud or glass we can make it by using uh, metal we can also make the chair uh, by using a material called plastic in such a way the purpose of the object based on the properties of the material so here metals these are the materials that are shiny but when you see the materials like uh, wood or plastic they are not shiny and when you see a rock it is hard when you touch it it is hard but when you touch a sponge which is also a material it is not hard it will be soft in this way the different materials shows the different properties they bear the different properties metals they are shiny in nature and wood and plastic they are not shiny they are non shiny in nature and rock is a material that is hard to touch and sponge or the other things like rubber they are soft to touch in this way the different materials possesses different properties and based on their properties they are going to be used to make the different things so here we can find uh, the different properties like shiny non shiny hard soft all these are the different properties that shows the nature of a substance and based on its nature only we are going to use them to make the different objects that can be used for the different purposes let us talk about the other properties of the different uh, materials and the substances that we can see in our surrounding so if you want to hide while playing hide and seek then you may not hide behind the glass because if you hide behind the glass you will be easily visible to the person so if you are going to hide behind the wood if you will hide behind any plastic thing then you are not visible to the other persons but if you hide behind the glass then uh, you can be visible to anyone any person can easily recognizes you or uh, can see you but if you are going to see any objects through polythene bag or if you'll see the different objects through oily paper then the image will not be clear you cannot see the things clearly in this way by looking at these examples we can define three different properties of the materials so what are they wood or plastic uh, just before i told you that if you hide behind the wood or plastic you will not be visible this type of nature that is shown by the material is called as opaque and when you hide behind the glass you will be visible and this kind of nature that is shown by the different materials is called as transparent and when you look at the different objects through polythene cover or through oil paper then that objects will not be visible clearly to you this type of nature of the different materials can be termed as translucent in simple words if we want to uh, define the opaque transparent and translucent objects then we can say that the objects through which we cannot see anything that is called as opaque objects transparent means the objects through which we can see 
द थिंग्स क्लियरली दैट आर कॉल्ड एज ट्रांसपेरेंट ऑब्जेक्ट्स एंड ट्रांसलूसेंट ऑब्जेक्ट्स आर द ऑब्जेक्ट्स थ्रू व्हिच वी कैन सी द इमेज बट नॉट क्लियरली दैट टाइप ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट्स आर कॉल्ड एज ट्रांसलूसेंट लेट अस सी द एग्जांपल ऑफ द डिफरेंट ऑब्जेक्ट्स दैट शोस द डिफरेंट प्रॉपर्टीज और दैट शोस द डिफरेंट नेचर so if you take an example of butter paper the butter paper is transparent translucent or opaque so if you take a butter paper and if you see any object through it then it will not be visible clearly you can see the objects through butter paper but it will not show you a clear image of that particular object so in this way when the material is used through which the objects can be visible but not clearly that type of materials are called as translucent material so here we can write translucent besides butter paper it shows translucent nature the next one is pure water uh, if you put some water in a glass which is very pure and then if you put a coin in that glass of water will it be visible yes of course you can see that coin clearly in this way pure water shows transparent nature the next example is book if you take a pen and over that pen if you keep one of your book then can you see your pen which is present behind the book or which is kept behind the book no you cannot see the pen which is present behind your book in this way the object through which you cannot see that type of objects are called as opaque so book shows the opaque nature the next one is glass beaker now when we take a glass beaker and if we pour some solution in it we can clearly see the solution which is poured in that glass beaker in such a way it shows transparent nature when you wear a shirt will your body visible to the others no so in this way shirt shows opaque nature so in this way the different substances are classified into three main types based on their nature and they are opaque transparent and translucent opaque are the objects through which we cannot see transparent objects are the objects through which we can clearly see the different things that are present translucent is a material through which we can see the things but not clearly in this way we can have three different types of materials based on their properties meet you in next class goodbye